John. Uh, not too long ago, uh, Senator Jeff Flake of Arizona took the Senate floor to again denounce the president, this time likening him to Stalin in his approach to the, toward the media, saying that he's inspired dictators the world over. This is uh, of a pair with a statement from Senator John McCain saying that the president should stop attacking the press. At some point today, you're supposed to give out fake news awards. What do you think of what Senators Flake and McCain have said? And what's up with the awards? Um, in response to Senator Flake specifically, I found it quite interesting uh, that he is coming out to attack this president, considering um, he's one that was recently defending an actually oppressive regime. He went to Cuba a few weeks ago and served as a mouthpiece for the oppressive Cuban government. He's not criticizing the president because he's against oppression. He's criticizing the president because he has terrible poll numbers. Uh, and and he is, I think, looking for some attention. I think it's unfortunate. Um, and certainly, I think our position here at the White House is that we welcome access to the media every day. Uh, I'm standing right here taking questions. The president does so regularly. And to act as if we're anything but open to that back and forth exchange is utterly ridiculous. What about Mark following on what Senator McCain said in the awards I haven't had a chance to read all of what Senator McCain said. Have you uh, we'll keep you guys posted. It'll be something later today. Um, we'll be looking for that. Uh, Sarah, I know you're all waiting to see uh, if you are big winners, I'm sure. <laughs> Indeed. Um, there's been frustration from both Republicans and Democrats who were in the room yesterday uh, with Steve Bannon when he was being asked about uh, some of the claims that he's made about this administration and the, the president's family. Um, but specifically some of the criticism has been aimed at the White House because of guidance that has supposedly been given as to what can and cannot be said, specific topics that are off limit, and the scope of executive privilege. Uh, without getting into the details of that, can you at least define for us what the White House is telling uh, attorneys uh, falls into the scope of executive privilege here? Yeah, I can, I can tell you that uh, this White House is following the same practice that uh, many White Houses before us have that have gone back decades, that there is a process that you go through anytime you have uh, congressional inquiries touching upon White House, the con Congress should consult with the White House prior to obtaining confidential material. Uh, this is part of a judicial recognized process. Uh, we want to follow through that. We've been fully cooperative with the ongoing investigations, and we're going to continue to be do so. And we encourage the committees to work with us to find the appropriate accommodation in order to ensure Congress obtains all the information that they're looking for. But there's a process that this works through. And it's not just isolated to this instance. Uh, executive privilege is something that goes back decades because it's something that needs to be protected, whether it's uh, during this administration or 120 years from now, we want to make sure we follow uh, the process and the precedent, and that's all that's taking place the here. The scope of that executive privilege, not just the time in the administration, but time after and during the transition, is broader than it has been in past administrations. I can't speak accurate? to the details of that. I can simply talk about the process uh, and that we're following um, the same uh, process and past practice of previous administrations. Categories of the White House. Again, I can't get into the details. I can only discuss the process. Ask